also on Newspoint at this hour. Thousands of Israelis joined Jerusalem's Pride Parade on Thursday. The parade, as some felt, was especially important as the far-right minister in charge for the security, Itamar ben Givir, called the event an abomination in the past. However, this time, he was heckled back with chants of shame from the participants. The annual march is being held for the first time under the far-right government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, which includes multiple cabinet members who have expressed homophobic views in the past. Ben Givir was among the organizers of a beast march in 2006, which saw opponents of the Pride Parade walk alongside donkeys in Jerusalem. Now, Israel's Minister for Police, Itamar Ben Givir, describing Jerusalem as a mosaic of differing views, said they were committed to keep the parade safe. אנחנו מחויבים, אני רוצה שסערה, סערות ראשם של אותם צועדים לא טיפול, המשטרה בערכות מלאה. יחד עם זאת, אני גם אומר את זה, המדיניות שלי, והעברתי את זה למשטרה, וכך יקוים, לתת חופש ביטוי גם לאלה שמתנגדים למצעד, גם לאלה שמדברים נגד המצעד. זה זכותם, כל עוד הם לא עוברים על החוק. Now, according to a police official, around 2,000 officers were brought in to secure the march. Ahead of the event, police said three people were detained over suspected threats against the marchers. However, the event passed without incident. Marchers waved huge rainbow and Israeli flags as well as banners that accused far-right ministers of trying to push them back in the closet. מנסים לדחוק את כולנו בחזרה לארון, לארון החשוך של הדעות הקדומות שלהם, לארון החשוך של הפחד והשנאה. הם לא יצליחו כי אנחנו לא ניתן להם! The high security event took place in the conservative city where critics of LGBTQ plus rights held a counter demonstration nearby. Israeli right wing demonstrators gathered with banners reading in Hebrew, Jerusalem is not Sodom, which refers to the legendary biblical city destroyed by God for wickedness. Today we have the festive pride parade that's opening up the pride month here in Israel. Today we're inside of Jerusalem. Behind me you have people who are protesting against. The police have cordoned off an area for them. And we have the route that the participants are going to be going through. The annual event has been held under Thai security since 2015 when an ultra-Orthodox Jew stabbed to death teenager Shira Banki and wounded six others. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.